Hey gang, welcome back. We're playing Blocks in the East still, and it's only the beginning of the third turn for the Axis player. It's taking me, uh, it's been a busy week last week and really didn't get a chance to do a whole lot, so we're just kind of getting started on the third turn. And as you can see, if you look back at the pictures or the previous videos, you'll note that we've had some pretty significant uh, penetration this way, and it's an odd way to try and progress and I believe that I've uh, moved correctly using the rail lines uh, as clear terrain, first of all. And then secondly, uh, there was just, a, I guess, an error by the, the Soviet movement turn not covering more here. Uh, the Soviets are very weak here. This is actually a lot of headquarters and stuff. There's not a lot in Leningrad. I had to reinforce it a little bit with uh, just, it's got one armored unit left in it because I had to pull guys off here to try and isolate these panzers and slow this uh, this attack avenue down. That's kind of coming in a surreptitious route in towards Moscow. So it's kind of a, I don't want to call it clever or innovative, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but uh, that was the open route. So that's the way they went. And if we look here, we've got a lot of heavy infantry here. They're all five rated uh, units, infantry units. And as I look at this, I probably as a German player probably should have uh, paired them up more with the armor. I'm a little concerned that the armor will fritter itself away in the woods here because there's really no supporting forces there at all. So that's a concern for the Axis player. <coughs> This is fairly deep defense, but I think with uh, with some good attacks, we can penetrate here or here and try and drive in this direction a little bit and, and try and pull and confuse the, the Soviet defense. Down here, down in the south, uh, Army Group South has really uh, punched a big hole here. You can see it's two or three hexes wide and several hexes deep. and and the Soviets have managed to react and kind of pull a line together along the Denver River uh, with the ultimate goal being to, you know, they, they tried a, a spoiling attack here and uh, bounced off, lost a couple of steps, lost some forces to isolation here, but saved some units here. The Soviets uh, broke through and forced out a, a small, uh, I think it was this dude here. Let's see if this is the guy. Yeah, that's a little mount, mountain forces chappy. He lost a step and decided that uh, living to fight another day was probably a good idea. So we kept, the Soviets kept all these guys in play, which was nice. These guys are okay, although this is a headquarters unit. Uh, this is a one stepper there. They're not going to last very long, but the Germans are focused on trying to press, you know, uh, hell for leather to Moscow and deep to uh, capture and destroy as much infrastructure as possible. Uh, you know, ideally I would like to try and, you know, grind as close to Stalingrad as we can and or capture Moscow and try and get an early, an early German victory. As the Soviet player, we've, we've ceded this territory and uh, trading space for time. And so we're, we're trying to build a line here and build as many infantry units as we can and some army units and and try and uh, we'll try and hold hold around here i guess would be the the plan until we get some of those uh, heavy reinforcements that come in the in the later in the year uh, towards november december which will then alleviate the pressure and that really then changes the game significantly uh, as a as an east front player at this level of, of game. I really like to go all out and try and win in the first year or, uh, or abdicate the, soon thereafter, just because uh, it, it's pretty much a foregone conclusion and you're fighting a defensive uh, 
fighters and Germans for the rest of the rest of the war, unless you get uh, get lucky in forty two in the spring of forty two and can mount a pretty significant counteroffensive. So we'll see what happens. And uh, it's uh, very interesting that the losses were massive. Uh, this term for the Soviets, but they've managed, in turn two, I should say, but they've managed to uh, bounce back okay and kept a, a little bit of a line. They've got Odessa uh, still uh, still holding out there. And the uh, the release of the, the Allied, uh, or the Axis allies, has been slow and painful, uh, just due to the lack of, uh, of oil to uh, facilitate appropriate activations that I probably would have wanted to do. All right, so that's kind of an update on, on where we're at, and we'll uh, press on with turn three sometime this week.